Hey ladies, welcome to vlog week 21. My brain is elsewhere. Uh, it's been a real shitty day today, so um, this isn't going to be a perky vlog at all. It's hot here, it's just a crap day. Um, uh, so this vlog is a couple of days late because my internet uh, has been... My glasses look crooked. Probably because Caden hits me in the face all the damn time. Um, yes, it's a couple of days late because um, my internet's been really shitty for about three days now, but it's finally fixed, I think. Um, as usual, reading from my list so I don't forget everything. I hope that fan's not making too much background noise, but it's bloody hot. Okay, um, on to symptoms. There's nothing really all that new to report. No. No. Um, I'm having just twinges and little aches and stuff in my lower abdomen. Just from growing pains. Uh, yeah, nothing major. Um, my belly has grown a bit. And I'm now about 63 kilos, which is about 500 to 600 gram, um, weight gain from last week. Uh, I'm still moving, uh, feeling her move quite a bit. Um, only it's more, it's weird, it's like she's, what? I don't know, in there just like spazzing out or something like, um, oh, it's hard to explain. No. It just feels like she's in there and like no. shaking me from no. the inside so my stomach feels all like it's, um, it, um, oh, what's the word? It just kind of goes for, for like a little bit. <laughs> that makes sense. I don't know. Um, I've been craving Wendy's hot dogs. That's pretty much the only craving I have had, like ever. Because, well, I mean, like, I crave it, like, all the time. Like, I could go on right now. I could go on like every single day, I reckon. Yeah, Wendy's hot dog with cheese and sauce. But I only have like maybe one or two a week. Actually, I think this week yeah. just gone, I had maybe three or four. Oh, I've only gained like five or six hundred grams, so I'm doing something right. Uh, what else? Oh, I made it into the midwifery group practice. Which basically means I just see the one midwife my entire pregnancy, well, for the rest of it, um, because they took so long to get back to me. Um, so, yeah, with the midwifery group practice, MGP for short, um, you have your one midwife and she's who you see for your appointments instead of, like, um, how it is in the beginning before you choose, like, how you want your pregnancy to be cared for. You basically just go to the hospital, you wait in the waiting room, and you see whoever calls your name first. So it can be a completely different person every single time you go in. So I had the, I was in the MGP with Caden, and I really like it just because, you know, you get to know that person, you get to trust them, you build a relationship with them, and if they're who are going to be there at the birth, you know, that's what you want. You don't want just some random person whoever's, you know, on call that night, you you want someone that you trust and, you know, who you feel comfortable talking to and, um, you know, yeah, someone you feel comfortable with and someone you've known for a couple months before, you know, you share this massive um, experience with them. Um, yeah, so her, I met her on fr uh, Thursday. Uh, her name is Bree. She seems really nice, which is good. Um, I would prefer to have the midwife that I had with Caden just because I really liked her and, you know, she was there when Caden was born and she knows all about what I went through and, you know, she, she came and visited him in the NICU and came and visited us, um, when we were in the parenting unit before we took him home and, yeah, I really, really liked her but what can you do? Um, yeah, so at the appointment, 
Um, I, I figured, since, you know, I'm like 21 weeks, you know, I'm like fair far along, um, that she would at least, like, yeah, measure the fundal okay. height or, you know, like, do my weight, like, just stuff like that. But she didn't do any of that. All she did was, um, check the heartbeat with, um, the Doppler. And she got a little bit of background info, and we talked a little bit about having a vaginal birth after cesarean. That was pretty much it, really. And she said the next time I see her is at 28 weeks, so that's like seven weeks away. And at that point, I'll do the glucose test, which, oh my god, it is really not as bad as everyone makes out to be. It's a bloody sugary flat drink, like, it's not poison, you know, I mean, I don't see what the big deal is personally, I've done it before, actually I had to do it twice, because for the first one, the results came back like, they have like a cut off, and if you, you know, you're anywhere close to that, then they make you do the three hour one, and I was like borderline, so they made me do the three hour one. So I hope I don't have to do that again with this pregnancy, because that three hour one was so annoying. Like just having to wait, like not having to do the drink and, you know, not even having my blood drawn, like, I think it's, was it two or three times that they take your blood? Don't know. But yeah, just the sitting there and waiting and you're like, you're not allowed to go anywhere. You're not allowed to, you know, I don't know, go to a shop for a bit or whatever. you got to stay there and just wait. So it's, you know, three hours of just sitting there with nothing to do. <sighs> so... Um, yeah, um, the last thing before belly shop is in the background, uh, here, I bought, um, the pram travel system, so I guess I'll show you a little bit. Get out of the way, Baba. Um, this here, no, let's just closing. This is the rain cover that came with it. Um, oh, it's called the, um, it's by Steelcraft, and it's the, uh, cruiser model. So it came with the capsule. There's a little, um, newborn insert in there. And that's the car base that goes in the car, the normal seat. Like the, you know, infant toddler seat, whatever. Obviously, the bassinet and the actual uh, frame. So yeah, this folds up. And um, all pieces. I'm not sure how this one comes out. Oh yeah, I that. All pieces um interchange. So that comes out. And this, the uh, capsule goes in here, just gotta line it up. I've only done it a few times, so I'm not real proficient in it yet. Oh, oh my god. It'll get easier the more practice I have, but yeah. There we go, so that's in there. So that's with the, um, no you can't see it. That's with the capsule in there. And then this seat, this seat can be reversed. So I can, you know, go in facing you or it can go in facing out. And that again just clips in, but I can't be bothered doing it right now. Gosh. So, yeah. That is the pram that I have for her. Um, it's really good quality. The brand is really great. Um, trustworthy. It's a really nice, smooth um, pram. Yeah, I love it. And I got it for $435, the whole set. Oh, excuse me. On eBay second hand. Uh, she only used it for six months, so it's it's in like brand new condition. You can't even tell that it's been ah. used. Um, what was I yeah. Say? yeah, to buy this um each piece 
uh, brand new because each piece comes separately. They don't come together. The um the frame and the um this seat, the normal seat, that alone is I think it's three hundred and ninety nine dollars. I think so like four hundred dollars just for those two. Get out now. And then for the capsule and the um car seat base, that's like two ninety nine, so that's another three hundred, so that's six hundred so far. And the bassinet is about a hundred dollars, so yeah, I got it for a really good price. Um almost half price really. Oh, it's you know. Um, yeah. So I guess I'll show the belly, do the measurement and then I'm done. Oh sorry. What do we got here? I'm in comfy crap clothes because I'm just getting too big to um you know things aren't as comfortable as they used to be. So it's from the front, from the side, from the other side. And shut up. I always turn the wrong way when I'm looking at the camera because it's mirrored. It's all rounding out. What? Oh. Look, they can't see me. <laughs> it is. And from this side. Yes. Um. With measurement. So that's at 62. I actually measured it yesterday and I was like 62 and a half or 63 or something. Oh, it just varies on, you know, how much I've eaten, the time of day I measure. So, yeah, um, that's it for week 21. Um,. Oh, my hair looks terrible. I look so shitty today. Um, I will see you all for week 22. Because I think that is it. Yeah. Alright, catch you later. Bye.